Beans and Rice, welcome back. August 1st, start of a new month, and you might be wondering, why am I alone? You are alone. I am not alone. I am here with you. R.I.P. to Michael Jackson. It's going to be an interesting day. We're going to try a few new things. It's just two of us today. I'm schizophrenic, so joke's on you guys. It's me and me again. I'm kidding. We have beefy here with Schizo us too. So on the ones and twos, yeah. you know. I think this might be the record of how many times I've been the Wizard of Oz. You don't think so? In a year, yeah, yeah. for sure. This is what four, maybe four. You know, four so far this year. So. Yeah. If you guys, maybe people are like, oh, you know, we've seen people. Oh, let me let me get an interview. You know, yeah. maybe the the interview that we're gonna give to some of these freaking idiots are, can get a job interview. You think so? Of course, we need a new intern. Uh, with bad work ethic, you know. Yeah, horrible so they already have ahead. some of the qualifications, right? <laughs> yeah. Compared to the last two interns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to be uh, have some sort of like mild dyslexia. Yeah, um, not the best reading. Yeah. Uh, you have to drive an American car. You have to drive an American car. That's not an exception that we we can allow. Yeah. Um, what else? Let's see. So we got to be. They have to have some sort of like handicap, right? Yeah. Alice is gay. Hobby, he's got a bad knee. <laughs> yeah. So you need some sort of ADA accommodation. Yeah. Or they have to be like a minority either. They have to be a minority. Or if you're white, you have to be like handicapped, like we said, or something. Some yeah. sort of ailment. Maybe so, an amputee. We'd, we'd take a white amputee, I think. I think an amputee or maybe if it was, uh, maybe if they were like a little person. Yeah, of course I would. You yeah. think so? Or a senior? But you'd have to bring your own booster <laughs> seat. We're not providing that for you. <laughs> If you're a senior, we're not teaching you computer <laughs> literacy. You got to know that shit already. I'm hey, Hoss, I would a senior t- type. <laughs> hey. <sighs> Can you tell us how to type? Uh, have you oh, worked on a Quartz keyboard before, Lorette? Uh, Quartz. What's a Quartz keyboard? A Quartz keyboard, it's it's a little bit different than the typewriter, but it's, uh, it's meant to type. The letters are all out of order. For a computer. Have you ever typed on a computer? Uh... Uh, let me see. How do I delete? <laughs> you know, I think maybe we're going to have to do an interview. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to definitely have okay. to screen people. So maybe I think we're going to have to do an interview right, right out now. The gate? Okay. Right out the gate. Okay. So I'm going to put the camera on me. I think there's an old folks uh, hair attire over there by you, host, that you could grab that will maybe make, make you feel a little bit old. Um, some sort of gray hair over there, isn't there? I don't see one. No. But we're going to do that. Maybe we're going to interview. Let me see. Uh, interviewing for... Maybe I might have to have, have to hit the Google really quick. Oh, there it is. Uh, interview. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, so I have to hit the Google early, and <laughs> this is <laughs> so, let, <laughs> so. Let me pull up. Give me one second. So this is I googled interview uh, interview questions for old people. Okay, so this is according to Google. We're going to be uh, interviewing according to Google. So Google's going to help us hire somebody today, and we'll see if they can answer these questions. But if you guys are ready to reveal, I got the first senior. Uh, here, her name is Lorette Patterson, and Miss Lorette Patterson, how's it going? What a pleasure to meet you, uh, Miss Lorette. It's going great. Thank you for having me. Uh, what is your name, young man? My name is Host Beefy 666, La Bestia. Oh, 666? That goes against all my teachings of growing up. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, oh, this... you have a cat? You brought a pet? <laughs> yeah, she's my uh, good omen, uh, my emotional support uh, animal. Oh, uh, well, we don't uh, really allow pets in this establishment, but you have paperwork, documentation for this pet? Yeah, yeah ADA. She's my service animal. He. <laughs> oh, there's a dog in here, too. <laughs> yeah, he is also my uh, seeing eye dog. Oh, really? I have cataracts. <laughs> so you don't Where have... are you? <laughs> you don't have the best vision? No. No? No. And what's your pet's names? Uh, this is uh, Panchito. Panchito? Yeah, named after the delicious bacon from uh, Italy. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Miss Lorette. Well, I know I really appreciate your time, but we're going to... You have a small face. I only see shadows on your face. Well, I've been working. You know, I've been losing a little bit of weight, so I appreciate the compliment. I see no chin, just lips. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, ice up here, you know? Uh, so let's, let's go maybe with the first question, you know, uh, 
The first question I have for you, Miss Lerard, is uh, how was your name chosen? Uh, it, my parents, uh, they died long ago. Bless their hearts. They were high school sweethearts. and you know, They knew each other. First love at sight. You know, it's one of those classic stories that everyone hopes for. And Well, they told me that really they had a, just a bucket of names with names written on papers. And you know, it was very, very sweet and very kind. And they just drew from the hat. And now I have my name. Yeah, so your name was, came from a hat? Yep, came from a hat. It was a bit of a... What do the young people read nowadays? It's the powerful little <laughs> kid that... Mr. A, Beast. That had a scar on his head. Uh, Harry Potter. Yes, that one. Harry yes. Potter? Like a hat like that? Yes. Well, Loretta's a very beautiful name, so... Thank you. Uh, what were things like when you were growing up? It was a much simpler time, that's for sure. Um, other than the Great Depression and World War II, that was... Do you suffer from mental in, mental health issues? Uh, that's exactly why I have the <laughs> emotional support animals. I mean, they're part of my accommodation and terrible times. I get tremors sometimes because I yeah. fear the, the fact that we might get bombed soon. You see what's happening in Ukraine. I mean, we can't really <laughs> ignore the facts that perhaps there might be an imminent danger in World War II, but... Thankfully, I've already lived my life, and I just fear for the youngins. You know. When did you first greatly get depressed, Loretta? Uh, well, you know, the Lord's always been on my side. God bless him. He has always helped me through difficult times, even if I didn't have money. Lived much more simple. Not many attire things. People are very worried about what others are wearing, and um, they call people. I mean, you have the mark of the beast. What do they call those things that? People love uh, the youngins. They they love the new trends. They call them the TikTok hyper beasts. Beast uh... hyper beasts. They just love the new stuff that okay. they wear. I think that's called hyper beasts. Hyper beast. I'm, I'm out of touch. I'm not a young man <laughs> as I used to be. I'm not as spry. But uh, yeah, I just get tremors. But my animals help keep me very very calm. Yeah. I love to knit too. You love to knit, even though my hands aren't as steady as they once were. So that's one of your hobbies? Yeah, I tried knitting a beanie and it ended up being a yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> Which is well, funny, I lived through World War II. Well, you can sell that for a higher price, if you know what I mean. Well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> well, Loretta, let me ask you this. What kind of house did you grow up in, Miss Loretta? Uh, I would like to know how these questions pertain to the job. Well, we, we kind of want to get to know you as a person first to see you know, if you fit questions. with us. Uh, now, this is 2023. We want to, it's a real family ship here that we steer. Family ship, huh? Uh, are you trying to live in my house? No, just, you know, this is kind of like a, a homey feeling a kind of environment that we're looking for. So uh, Simple cool. house, definitely nothing too flashy. Uh, Carol down the street, she had a lot of upgrades, and I can't really tell you how much I would do on upgrades. We just, you know, Bob, God rest his soul, he died about 17 years ago. He would mow the grass, but I have this nice little boy across the street, Jimmy. He comes by and mows the grass. There, He's Asian. He's a very peaceful guy. He's... Uh, oddly, I've never heard him raise his voice. Um, before I had cataracts, I also know he, I think he had vision problems. He could barely open his eyes. Oh, and, really? Yeah. I, he does my gardening You guys could relate? Me. You guys couldn't see good together? I, I mean, he. I used to see good. I think he's had that problem since he was a child. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He's uh, just squinty little eyes. But, you know, just three-bedroom house, one and a half bathrooms. Old The fridge is from the 50s. It still works. It's... Quite a lot on my gas bill, or not my gas bill, my light bill, actually. Oh, they don't make them like that, that yeah. anymore, you They know? say I should get an energy saver, but what's the point in saving energy if I have to get a new fridge every five years? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a silly goose. Well, let's get down. You know, I like you so much. Uh, you know, your personality is good. Thank you're glowing. You. Thank you. Very sweet. I love your bandana. It looks really good to your outfit, you know. It's... I just came from a Richard Simmons workout <laughs> from my home, though, VHS. <laughs> very it, nice. It looks really nice. You know, with this job, you know, you will be going to be working with computers you're going to be working with minorities okay you're going to be you know you're going to be sharing some of your personal business on the internet okay uh you're going to maybe sharing personal stories you know as i mentioned or there's going to be people that may be there's some sort of fame that comes with it people are going to be do you have social media uh, anything like that uh, i used to love reading the newspaper but they kind of discontinued that where i live unfortunately but can you explain the internets to me? My One of my grandkids tried showing me. I didn't understand what was on screen. So you have never used the internet? 
I can't say that I have. I've seen it. There's oh, wow. a lot of I've, I've seen a lot of gross things on there. Yes, some of these women are, have no problem showing their goodies. Yes, I bake cookies. They show them. I, we're a very different mm -hmm. generation. Well, you know, it seems like you're a sweet lady. Now, how about you know maybe typewriting skills or uh, you know, uh, and the the keyboard now is very similar to an older typewriter. Are you Bob you know, always fancied the typewriter? I was always more of a pen and paper gal myself. Is is that okay? Well, we're gonna have to have you, you know, type because there's a lot of things you have to, you know, type. Uh, I with have the arthritis and osteoporosis in my hands. That's gonna be very difficult, uh, but I will definitely do my best. You, I come from a generation that believes in hard work ethic. I lived through the industrial revolution, by the way, and it uh, definitely helps provide a lot of jobs for women, especially when the men were unfortunately out there fighting and, and losing their lives i'm glad you know as a woman i don't know why any woman would decide to want to go to war i want to stay home and make cookies <laughs> well heather I and think... play with my pussy <laughs> well your emotional support pussy right yes sorry yes i forget this generation uses that for gross means back in the 50s we we say pussy we mean a pussy cat okay like a yeah. kitty like sylvester correct stallone you know yeah. But, okay, so maybe, you know, we're not, that's going to be something that we're going to have to work on. But, you know, one last question. What, why do you think I should give you this internship? What would it mean to you? And what are you looking to learn? Uh, and what are you looking to bring to this uh, community? Well, they, I know that uh, you did say I'd be working with younger people and minorities. And uh, they're constantly told they're the lost generation. But there's still a lot of them. My generation is pretty lost. So I actually think I'd be the minority. <laughs> I'd be the biggest minority. I have diseases that some of these kids can't even spell. Um, and I think that's exactly why you should hire me. I represent a, a lost generation, memories of stories and times long lost forgotten, and the atrocities of, well, quite frankly, foreign policy. Well, you know what, Laura? I really like your style. Uh, is there anything else you need to, you know, anything else that might sway me? you know that that i need to hear anything else that will seal the deal to make one you know Im impression I, make, that I will never for, forget I make an absolutely delicious oatmeal chocolate chip and tomato cookies it is absolutely divine a lot of people find them repulsive but the acid from the tomatoes works very well with the oatmeal and the chocolate chips i personally think so you would bring big goodies over every day oh really yeah <laughs> What about funeral potatoes? Do you ever cook funeral potatoes? Uh, no, they remind me to. They bring back PTSD. <laughs> I, I'd like to quite avoid PTSD. Um, frankly, the next time I hope they are cooked is at my funeral. Yeah. yeah. One last question because we do have... Uh, you said that one question ago. Well, I like that you're listening and I that's a test and I really appreciate your time, Loretta. I will give you a call if I'm interested, okay? Thank you very much. Oh, okay, call Loretta. me on my landline. You have a great day, Loretta. You as well. Take care, Ms. Loretta. Bye. You know, it's exhausting being an old person. I can see why they want to die so quickly. You think so, Hoss? Oh, man, I like. I already wanted to call it quits on life. Dude, I think you're good, man. Thank I, I want to hire Mr. Lerner right away. Did you? I don't blame oh, yeah. you, okay? <laughs> Dude, with the outfit that you had, <laughs> it works so well for both. Uh, for, for young people and old people, you know? I had that fucking drip. <laughs> and it's because I was drooling because I lost a lot of motor skills in my mouth. Oh, yeah, you look good. You know what's so funny? This weekend I went to this uh, gelato place. Yeah. And there was a lady. She was dressed exactly like you. I was just thinking of her the whole time, you know? Well. But she was wearing, like, yellow. And she was, like, all yellowed out. And, uh, like, even yellow, white. And then she had, like, this uh, a bucket hat that was yellow. Okay. And, like, her whole gang, all of them were wearing yellow, like, the old man. And so stuff you like saw, that. like, Coldplay Wives, right? And it was all yellow. Well, they, you know, I think so. <laughs> okay, man. But they ordered all lemon. All of them were ordering lemon. So oh, I they, was like. <laughs> hey, stop Asian hate, They were hate, walking okay? on sunshine, yeah. you know? <laughs> they were walking on the rising sun. Yeah. But that was pretty nice. I was thinking, uh, you. I think I would have hired you, you know? Dude, I'd have better interviews as an old person than most <laughs> of you as yourselves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. I've talked to some of you. Yeah, so they can't... You guys don't know how to access those yourself, okay? I think people that, oh, I'm a rapper. They try to say that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I rap, you know? What, what else do they say? I'm a creative. Oh, yeah, I'm a creative. I'm a content creator. You, know? you can't even spell creative. Oh, oh, yeah. A content creator, you know? Could you imagine you put that on your resume? I'm a content creator? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. 
Could you imagine, dude, you're you're at a bank and somebody puts out a content, cre- <laughs> the, the Instagram thoughts, you know, they go there with the OnlyFans, you know, they put on their <laughs> content creator and they need a, uh, let's see your W, uh, your W2s or whatever they're called, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's in all the microtransactions that the show, they're like a returning customer, like their customer retention rate and stuff like that. Yeah. Imagine all these business fucking douchebags, right? That don't have friends. And you know, if, uh, you go to apply sometimes for a loan, whether it be for like a car a recreational vehicle like an ATV or snowmobile or a house or whatever it may be. And they say, hey, we need a couple references to call to make sure that you're good. You know, we need family. We need friends, you know, co-workers. Like, friends or family. What the fuck that stupid Because a lot thing. of the times they want friends only they yeah, because they don't want relatives because they'll lie. Because relative will lie on their behalf. Yeah. They want, like, basically casual friends. Yeah. And they're like this. <laughs> this is going to be a problem. <laughs> the fuck is this going to be a problem for you? I just need three friends three of yours friends. to sign off on this for you. You got $10 million. I only have business partners. <laughs> fuck, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. I only have business partners. I don't believe in friends. Oh, yeah. Could you? <laughs> if you're not going to help me grow my business, I don't want anything to fucking do with you. If you're not going to provide me a list of three fucking friends, you're going to have a goddamn car. Go yeah. fucking Uber your, at, your friendless ass over to your business. Could you imagine? Fucking idiot men. Can you imagine you finally work up to be, you know, to get your $10 million loan or something like that? And then that, that's what keeps it from, uh, that's what keeps you from getting your $10 million, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you work so hard. You're like, no, I got no friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alpha male, you know, yeah. they say that. the Sigma, they say, you know? Yeah. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah, and that's what happened. You know, maybe you want to tell them what happened this weekend, huh? So maybe we ran into a couple business relationships or. Uh, maybe. We saw we saw a couple business. Well, first, you know, you want to talk about maybe Gabino. You know what I mean? He we hung out with Gabino a little bit. We hung out so? with Gabino. There was uh, some rap battles that he was affiliated. And actually, with. you know what? Maybe before we even talk about, I think we're gonna have to talk about something else. You go know? ahead, go ahead. Because you know, you guys, uh, Larry, he got mad because we didn't invite him to a barbecue, right? Even though it was public. Sure. Yeah. It was here. You guys, we told you guys that watch is there's gonna be a barbecue, right? And what did we cook, Jose? What did we make? You know, it was... Uh, so I made uh, arroz con gandules, which is like a Puerto Rican rice dish. Yeah, and you know oh, how right. hard it is to find gandules, you idiots? It actually is difficult to find exactly. gandules. I had to go to the West ba- <laughs> the West Bali, Walmart. Over there. Over there, there West Bali, uh, <laughs> to get the gandules, which are pigeon peas. They don't offer them at every oh, yeah. store. So I had to drive pretty far to get those. So I had a couple cans of those. Bacon, right? High quality bacon. Oh yeah, none of that Frank Meyer or whatever you guys are. No. You know CCMI bacon. Come on. Man. Yeah, I make my own sofrito. Okay, if you yeah. don't know what sofrito is, just type in sofrito on the Google. Yeah, and Polynesians, that's not where you work at. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's then... not your employee discount code. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sofrito. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course the rice and all the other things, like sazon adobo all that stuff uh so i make that it's like time consuming but it's it yields a lot of good food oh yeah uh jose uh grilled up we you know we had some uh chicken thighs oh, yeah. chicken drumsticks. drumsticks we had carne asada what other uh meat oh we had glizzies okay oh, we had hot glizzies. dogs stuffed glizzies kosher glizzies kosher. we had cheddar glizzies we had yeah. seasoned burgers oh so i forgot we even had burgers yeah we had burgers with cheese and without cheese no yeah. stamps on them no we didn't fucking brand, we didn't have anything. To brand them come on yeah they were actually seasoned they were nice and charred so they had that you know like little burnt crisp edges but nice soft interior with the juicy meat no pause okay uh, what uh, else did we had? All the condiments. Different you asked salsas, for. like thirty. It was yeah. like a salsa buffet. Yeah, there was at least fifteen different salsas: red, green, yellow, orange. All like basically the LGBTQ flag of oh, salsas. Yeah. Oh, how many ice creams did we have, us? We had a couple tubs of ice cream. We oh, had several yeah. popsicles, creamsicles, uh, cones, how cones with chocolate, cones without chocolate, wafer Sugar cones. cones, wafer cones, oh, cake yeah. cones, and, and all, all other. other- Forgotten, forgotten cones, cones motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> and then we had uh, pico de gallo. Oh, we yeah. had guacamole. Pasta salad. Well, we had soda. Oh, yeah. We had liquor. All of the fucking, Everything. all the accoutrements. Water, man. You know, God, come on, man. man. Mountain water. too. not a regular. Oh, you. Magna. It's got minerals. My pH. You know, we had mountain water straight from the freaking mountains. Spring man. water. Yeah. And it was in the summer. Exactly. So, look, we had like a buffet. And it was spring 2024 water, okay? Yeah. You broke pieces of shit. We had beans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had beans. I forgot, too. Oh, yep. Along with the rice. Beans and oh, rice, yeah. motherfuckers. Come on, man. 
But you know, we had such a, an assortment of, of different foods. Oh yeah. Um, a lot of to like, how many people came? We had maybe ten people deep. Yeah. And we could have easily fed. I'm not even kidding you. Probably forty. Forty people easily. Forty people. Polynesian too. And all of us ate at least two to three times. Yeah. And we still could have fed forty people. Yeah. Maybe three Polynesians, but hey, that's <laughs> you know that's a lot of food. Um, <laughs> but. You know, we set it up, so now you tell them, what did we end up seeing? We ended up seeing when? I mean, Yesterday? I felt, I felt you were leading up to something specific. Oh, well, I wanted you to kind of tell the story, because I was just asking the questions. Because oh, okay. I'm the Wizard of Oz, you know? Okay, but, fair enough. You know, somebody invited us, somebody that used to be yeah. my, my nemesis, you think, the host that yeah, would always he, be mean to me? you guys were arch enemies. Well, I wasn't, but you, you don't think he was mean to me? He made it seem person? as you were arch enemies. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, get an invite. We have our barbecue a week or two later. BBQ. BBQ. Uh, week or two later, get hit uh, on my celly text message. Brrr. I wonder who this is. LLA, okay. <laughs> so, weekly boy, what's going on? Horse? Okay, on the wrong side of the beehive this time. <laughs> and just goes, hey, if I had a barbecue, would you guys come through? And I go, yeah, of course, okay, because we're friends, right? We're business partners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay well he hasn't helped us grow very much but uh he's like okay i'll invite a couple people he invites i don't know who he invites he just know okay uh we'll, we'll show up <laughs> we show up yesterday i showed up first i'm on time and he's like oh i have meat salsa the stuff for like tacos and i'm like okay what do you need me to bring he's like, bring, bring whatever he called it he said it was gonna be a taquisa you know yeah like a it like, it's like a churrasco but with tacos. You yeah, know? you guys ever seen a churrasco? Come on, man. So I show up. Yes, I'm thinking there's gonna be like the amount that we made as well, but I mean I'm still gonna bring stuff. So I bought yeah. two uh, Klondikes. Okay, shout out to the LGBTQ. Oh yeah, they were, like, they were nice. Just so there were twelve. But Alice was, was carrying them. You know, yeah, <laughs> she would not let go. There was uh, the Reese's, and then there was the regular vanilla and chocolate oh, Klondikes. You didn't even tell me I didn't even have one, Hoss. I swear I said it out loud, but oh, I mean, he man. hasn't eaten them. They're still there, I'm sure. God. We we can reclaim them. Okay. So <laughs> we go back and we, 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 yeah. what we bought. <laughs> he didn't have three friends to fucking reference <laughs> to keep the fucking Klondikes, okay? <laughs> so I go there, and he has like a decent amount of meat, just maybe I'd say four pounds, maybe five. Of carne asada or whatever, beef thick, whatever it was. <laughs> that bicep, that game. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it didn't know what it was. <laughs> that non binary meat. And so he grills it up. Girl. And I'm like, oh, at least, you know, you season it. He's like, oh, no, I already bought this store bought like this. And I go, I retracted my comment or my compliment. So I have one bag of chips, two things that I'm seeing. And he's like, ah, oh, salsa. A little bowl like this, okay? Maybe six ounces. <laughs> Six ounces of guac, six ounces of refried beans, <laughs> and tacos, like, or not tacos, tortillas that are referred to, which is fine. That, that doesn't bother me. Just cold. He just set it on there, <laughs> and then he looks at me. And, like, like half of the tortillas all had holes, you know? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, the moths has gotten to these tortillas, <laughs> and they don't even eat tortillas. So I'm looking at him because I'm, you know, Latino. I know how to host. And all of my Mexican friends, they kill it, okay? This guy's just staring back at me. <laughs> How like, does he look? I'm... How does he stare at us? When he was staring at the, uh, when he started looking at the meat. <laughs> <laughs> he started just staring at me like I'm in the soup kitchen and he's a homeless man. Like, okay, first of all, I'm not going to feed you. You invited me here. Secondly, these tortillas, I wanted to heat them up, and I wanted just a little bit of aceite, right, to get them a little bit wet, you know, just some oil, so that they cook nicely and they're more pliable. Yeah. It, it provides a nice little... Just, oh, and he brought none. a thing of WD-40. Jose was like, can I get some oil for my tortillas? I was like, look, I want to live when I live here, <laughs> uh, when I leave here. Uh, I don't want to die today. Yeah, he brought WD-40. He started yeah. spraying the pan. I was like, dude. It's like, you've never even fixed a car. Why do you have WD-40 in here? <laughs> you and got a work truck, you know? So I had that dry-ass tortilla. I just popped into the microwave, folded that thing, ate the beans. It had, like, half my own chips, you know? <laughs> uh, the I had half the fucking re, uh, refried beans. 
and half of the guacamole by myself yeah. before other people started showing up. So shout out to Will Wonder, Beefy's husband. He showed up. Oh yeah, man. And he was he was looking pretty cute, but I was mad he didn't show up to over here. You know he. No, yeah, he he skirted a us a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he stood you up. Yeah, and then Alice showed up. So. Uh, the kingdom was there, basically. Yeah, your right? husband showed up with uh, six Coronas and four cinnamon rolls. He did that six Coronas? Six oh, Coronas, man. like a six-pack of Coronas and four cinnamon rolls. And Alice shows up. And what did she bring? She, I can't remember what she brought, but she yeah. brought something. And then yeah. <laughs> you texted me, and you were like, hey, what should I bring? I was like, there is nothing here. Maybe just bring drinks. And you showed up with uh, three, like, 12 packs of sodas. Yeah. Which we should also reclaim. Yeah, we should go back home. Yeah, yeah, we should go back. Oh, and then what happened to the rice? You want to tell them about the rice? Because you told I forgot about, about that because the rice wasn't even. He didn't even put the rice out oh, when I was like, there. Oh, come on. So you tell him about the rice. Oh man, I was excited, you know, because I was like, okay, at least I had I hadn't ate the whole day, you know. So it's like, oh, I'm gonna save my because he he said, oh, it's gonna be Taco Fest 2024, you know. He's like, it's gonna be a tequila. I'm and gonna have Fire Fest, there. but the Taco Fest version. <laughs> yeah, he's like hyping it up. He's like, oh, you know, I, have... I told him I saw him on the weekend. And I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go. He's like, oh, come on, he's fuck. Like, I hired a barista from yeah, the bar named Sue. You know? There's gonna be the shorties. <laughs> he's like, the shorties are gonna be drink making drinks there. You know, so it's like, okay, okay, I'll think about it. You know, so they're gonna have a limbo bar. Oh yeah, he was saying limbo. He's gonna be. They're gonna be. They're gonna have nice feet. They were saying, you know. Yeah. So he he was saying that, and then uh, cause first I didn't want to go, uh, and then I end up showing, and you know, my instinct, I was like, okay, I'm gonna save my hunger, and uh, my instinct first, like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go, cause I I was even uh, an hour late, huh, host? Yeah. I'm like that way. I'm so hungry. There's going to be so much food I can just like gorge. Everybody's just going to be stuffed. By the time I get there, everybody just lets you eat whatever you want. You don't have to worry about rationing or anything. You know what I mean? Of course not. If that's, hey, that's guys. If you guys want to know how to eat the most at a party, get there late, you know? Unless it's this kind of party, because I'll tell you what. You, you know? got to get there early. Because <laughs> that there. shit is for the birds, okay? <laughs> I literally had a pigeon, you know, that was wearing a diaper. I was like, what the fuck is this? He's like, that's my son. <laughs> I was like, what? This is the shorty you were talking about? <laughs> it was like, <laughs> you know? But luckily, you know, I hung out with Don Lupe, so I, I, I knew how to talk a little bit to the pigeon, you know? But yeah, I was so excited. You know, I saved all my hunger. And then by the time I get there, there was four tablespoons of rice left. You know what I mean? Six tablespoons of beans. And the rice, oh, it was so cold, host. You know? That, that was like... <laughs> you were in the middle of a heat wave and the rice is cold. It was cold, yeah. yeah. You could have cooled off by throwing some rice on your face. And it was a Spanish rice. That was like the rice aroni Spanish rice. You know, the, the one, that, the one yeah. that you get in that bag. You know, Uncle it says, Ben's. It says, cut the top a microwave for 30 seconds, you know? Yeah. And he had a nice microwave, but did that microwave... How many times did he have to stick that in there for the microwave? to get a hot hoss four times four times okay my microwave it might be small you know it might be but it'll heat it up <laughs> heat it'll go... check whoa oh yeah they're it'll like, go nuclear 30 seconds through that thing you know come on man look all we're trying to say <laughs> is he invited us to a barbecue and that barbecue was as bare as his head okay yeah. not much food in sight not much hair in sight you get it that is called a Fair. simile you know so yeah so next time la maybe you know war work if you're watching this we're going to tell you this is going. This was a pre-party. You know, this was. I know you don't know how to cook good. It was literally a heat check. Yeah. <laughs> we had to see what you had. You have a lot of work to do. We can help you improve. We know how to host parties. Uh, so we're gonna give them until when you think to do a redeem party. You know, because this is like the this is like the U.S. thing. This will, this is the one that he well, that he was. Nothing gets more U.S. than this. His <laughs> deadline. Emphasis on the dead. So LLA's it, redeem party. What what's the date, Huss? September 11th. <laughs> oh, come Never, on, never forget. forget. Always, Always remember. remember. Oh, hey, that's going to be good. Let's see what day that falls on. And that's going to, hey, that's going to fall on a Monday. So maybe, we, you Perfect, know, come yeah. on. Perfect. Yes, uh, yeah. You know, so he's going to be his redeem. Maybe we'll get a little cake with towers. You think so, Huss? Yeah. Two and, candles. And the towers is going to be the last, going to be a picture of the last barbecue. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> with just like three pieces of meat. Abysmal, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be ground zero. That's what the barbecue looked like when I got there. And the cake is going to be the Pentagon. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it, you know, they slam just a mordida. Yeah. <laughs> In a forest somewhere, but. No. Yeah, so it was a, a sad barbecue, oh, but yeah, good man. people. So thank oh, you yeah, for the invite. He let me play on his drums yeah, a little did. bit, you know? 
you were playing his drums for like 45 minutes. Yeah, I was trying to remember some of the, if I still had some of the, you know, but it was a little bit hard. I hadn't played. You for, played the drums before? Yeah, but I hadn't played for like probably like 12 years, probably 15 years since I was I've in never ninth played. grade. Yeah. So I was trying to remember some of the. I'll read sheet music, uh, but in the treble clef, not the bass, because I used to play instruments. And on for brass, I do remember some of the notes, yeah. but I haven't played in over a decade. Yeah. I do want to go dig my trumpet back out and see if I can play it, but I know it'll take a while for me to learn again. No, you say, oh, let me hit that C major. You know what I mean? All at, the Crips get mad at you. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> you mean the Bloods would get mad. The Crips would, you know. <laughs> you <laughs> could. Major. Oh, I'm, I'm more of a B flat. You know what I mean? You know, well, hey, I can hit the double high C. <laughs> yeah. I was the only one in high school that could. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Just like two of them in shotgunning two high Cs? Could you... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the original shotgun, you know what I mean? Yeah, of Back course. when we didn't take guns to school, okay, you piece of shit? Yeah. Get better hobbies, okay? We took music to school. <laughs> I lit you up with the sound of music. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, you know, we, we did do mic masters, you know what I mean? Well, we had the video still up if you guys want to go. Yeah. Uh, just look it up. You know, we were. it was pretty fun, you know, and uh, yeah, I guess it was pretty fun, right? It was really hot, but it was fun. Yeah, one guy got triggered, you know what I mean? Yeah. So one guy got triggered. This guy, he looked like Andrew Tate, you know, and he was, oh, what, what was he saying? Host? I'm, a, I'm an executive from. Uh, I'm a top talent scout oh, for like, URL. Oh, come on. A URL scout, is dude. what I type the website that I want to go yeah, to. Yeah, you're okay? freaking it. You don't know what it is. So URL, you know, for what? Okay. Finish the rest of the fucking website, you idiot. Okay. You know, he didn't have a full domain. You think so, Huss? He had Dude, a domain? No, he didn't you have know? a domain. Did he have a... What else? Did he have a... What else? Was his apartment he didn't website? have a shirt in his uh, picture. Oh, he had no. a suit on no shirt. Oh, yeah. Seems to like... Dude, he's him. like those guys. He would do that. And then they have like the... Like the the flood uh, pants. You know how they got like the... Yeah, they're prepping for the flood. You know, hey, and, climate change. And they have their... I'm le- always ready. <laughs> they have their leather shoes, but they have no socks. Yeah. Or they have those like pantyhose socks that are like make your feet all sweaty. Yeah. It's like, oh, man, what kind of, you know? Could you... Have you ever worn some of those? Uh, They're like the no-show, but not like the pantyhose one. Yeah. Where I do the no-shows where I have like my loafers yeah, yeah, yeah. on. Um, but I only do that with shorts on. If I have like long pants and I'll wear dress socks. Yeah. Yeah. But they do that, you know, with their, the pantyhose socks. It's like, come on, man. You know, so we had a little bit of an incident. So Gabino, if this guy is supposedly cool, we're sorry if we burn a business relationship. Okay. But, uh, hopefully... well, he didn't mention Gabino's name at all, actually. So, oh, no. So he didn't know him. I don't think so. No fucking am. Okay. So yeah, so we did that. So the video's still up. It was fun. Uh, that guy, Jovi the God, he was pretty cool. He's an artist. If you want to look him up, he had pretty good music. Huh? He did. He was a good performer. I liked his music. Uh, was really nice, and honestly, I mean, if I mean, I'll drop the scout talent thing. But if you're only waiting for talent on this, well, there's several other videos you can go watch with a lot of oh, great yeah. talent. A lot of videos. Utah's uh, the the Mike Master. So many of the battle rappers have excellent bars and great talent. If you really wanted to look, go look at those. Yeah. Um, and then come to the stream. You know, come yeah. on, man. But I think that's it. You know, I think maybe we should get some intros. We're th- about 33 minutes in because we got a couple things lined up. We've been switching it up for you guys, you know, but we're going to do maybe a short intro. Do you think so? Half of the people are gone on the desk? Yeah. Well, you know, we can't see uh, all of them over there. So maybe Hulls can tell us who's, uh, who are, who, who's in shot, who's on screen. So just who, just the people that are next to you that you introduced. Just these ones. Okay, guys. So next to the, the Puerto Rican flag, we have someone in the Canary Yellow. And essentially, if your gazoon's a little tight, you want to get the gazoon a little loose, you know? Okay. She'll give you the bassoon in your gazoon, okay? She will give you a nice, nice slice, slice surprise. surprise. It's not really a surprise. You wanted that abortion, you got it. Our mobile abortionist, one half of the uh, Saipan Sisters. Sisters. And what song do they sing? What's the Saipan Sisters? Well, the Saipan Sisters like singing a song. Sister, sister, sister give, give me the news. news. It's Nissan. Nissan. Hatake, Hatake Abormoto. She's got the abortion news, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's monitoring all you thought about these periods, okay? So you guys are wondering, oh, TikTok, what is it for? Monitoring your periods. You know, you guys got all yeah, your Yeah, you other guys are apps. claiming all the good men are taken. So what is she doing? She's thinning out the herd of women. That way there's more of a chance of you getting selected by other men oh, because yeah. there's less women for the men to pick from. She's ambering that herd. You think so? That's else? basic <laughs> math for you people. Oh, they don't math their age. And you think all these idiots, you know, Larry, the winter so- soldier? No have you Have you seen his? What does his face look like when they ask him a math question, Hoss? Huh? Larry, the winter soldier. 
<laughs> and he pulls out his gun. You know, it's like, dude, what are you doing, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, we'll move on from that subject. Yeah. Well, we'll, actually, he's below us. Okay? He's below, yeah, he's below me today. Saying, yeah. Okay. Yeah, below uh, so us. I might crop dust him if he beha- if he doesn't <laughs> uh, behave well. Maybe he likes it. Maybe, maybe he does. You know, they're used to gas, if you know what I mean. A little you know? gaseous, okay? The gas goes to make you a little you know? nauseous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of mustard to go with that custard but he you know the heat wave has kind of been ending here in uh in utah and that's thanks to this man okay our security oh, chat yeah. supervisor one and only larry, larry the, the winter, winter soldier. soldier okay and then next to me oh yeah being held by someone uh this uh is a woman of courage a woman of passion and honestly a woman of, of many triumphs okay she is not a victim Oh, no. She is a survivor, a survivor. and a winner. Mm-hmm. Many of you can't say that. In fact, you, probably none of you can say that. You guys don't fucking win. You guys have participation trophies, you know? You yeah. guys get your ribbon. Dude, all these freaking idiots, you know? Dre Rocker, the number, you know? He has got. He comes back. Oh, my, number uh, participation, number 825. You're like, dude, why are you wearing yeah. that? You know? Why did you pay for that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so right here, though, we have someone who doesn't believe in the victim mentality. Oh, no. Uh, she doesn't even have limbs. No. You only see a head and a torso. She mm-hmm. basically lives... Eats and breathes in that same fucking blanket. Uh, she is our dream seeker, nightmare speaker. Rakumau mau mau, rakumau mau mau. And introducing, <laughs> we forgot somebody, the pride of Puerto Rico making his way out of Ponce, Puerto Rico. Saludo a Parque de las Bombas. Standing at seven foot three meters and six and a half sixteenths of a quarter of an inch. He is the undisputed champion of the world. The Butter Pecan. Puerto Rican. Jose Antonio. José Antonio Alberto Santiago de Los Ángeles Pagán Gil Thank you. Oh, that was a really good intro. <laughs> and uh, next to me, okay, oh, yeah. Jose Antonio Alberto Santiago de Los Ángeles Pagán Gil Rivera, we have Jose's caregiver and ex uh, healthcare, <laughs> healthcare provider. provider. When Jose is ill and he needs a pill, oh, he needs the pill to a visa. You know what I mean? Because sometimes. You know, you go out on a Sunday afternoon and you don't eat because people invite you to a barbecue. And when you go out on a Sunday afternoon and you don't eat because people just invite you to a barbecue, your glucose levels start going down because you're partially diabetic. And when your glucose uh, volumes start going down because you're partially diabetic, you go to the grocery store and you buy expensive cans of soda that are uh, $20. When you... Uh, you know, go into panic mode and start slurring your sentences. You buy twenty dollars worth of overpriced soda. You end up at somebody's house that has a pigeon. When you end up at somebody's house that uh, has a pigeon, you figure out that they have a bad barbecue. When you figure out that they have a bad barbecue, what happens, us? You find out that that all pigeon has a diaper. When you find out that that pigeon has a diaper, you head downstairs because you don't want to be around a pigeon with a diaper. When you head downstairs because you don't want to be around a pigeon that has a diaper, you see a drum set and start playing that drum set. When you see a drum set and start playing that drum set, you bring back memories of when you used to play drums 12 years ago. When you start playing the drums uh, because of the memories that you had 12 years ago of playing the drums, uh, you go back upstairs and realize the little amount of food they have by someone who is also struggling with relationships at the moment. And when you go upstairs and realize a little food that they have is someone who uh, currently is struggling with relationships, uh, that same man doesn't have uh, the audacity <laughs> to decide whether they want to fuck or get married. And when you find out you don't want to get uh, fuck or get married, you get, you get frightened. frightened. When you, you get, get frightened, frightened, you, you get, get scared. scared. When you get, you get scared, scared, you get, you get the goosebumps. goosebumps. When, you when you get the goosebumps, goosebumps you get el hibijibi, filomeno, el hibarechon. <laughs> Okay. All right, and sitting on the ones and twos today, we have someone who's a, a dark lord of, of sorts. <laughs> dark lord. Someone uh, who has difficulty pronouncing Z's, but has no issue putting you to sleep, okay, in that eternal slumber. He is the dark one. The Mexican-American slayer. Horse Beefy. 666 six, six, La Bestia. Okay. 
and next to la bestia you know what i mean yeah. we got somebody that some people may consider the original bestia somebody that likes to make people suffer and sulfur you know we got the croft maga killer we got the kente annihilator you the know the panzer we, pouncer oh yeah the later hosen lad the the, my, wien, no, the wieners the natural snatcher gustacine schweinsteiger hey he's still looking for his fucking hat you know well <laughs> no cap he said hats off you know he never it never went back uh, he I hasn't think, been lying no cap yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit is busting for real real you know and one thing that i noticed you know people are like all the thotoratis and all the thotoratos too you know oh have you seen what's been going on uh, on the internet house did you pay attention to anything there was something that was released oh uh, ufos no but worse than ufos you know that the people, you know, it's like all the thought varieties that have like, you know, six, seven kids and they're in their mid thirties and they're trying to be young uh, and they're trying to go watch a movie, you know, okay. and what particular movie are they trying to watch us? Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll, oops, so Barbie. And you see the kids hiding in the background. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're in the baby Corvette, but they don't got a fucking, they got a fucking Chevy Cavalier. Okay. We've seen your fucking car. You think they're going to learn to drive from you? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen how you drive. Yeah. Your your bumper's being held together by duct tape. Oh yeah, they got. Dude. And you businessmen with only business partners, you have to Uber. You don't even have your own fucking car. Oh yeah, they pick them up, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lift. Yeah. <laughs> this is my executive chauffeur. That's a fucking lift. You fucking. Yeah, that's what you guys are always surprised because only lift me ups you get is from your Thotorados to go to their house so they can you know use your body and then dispose of you on an Uber. Okay. The only man you're looking up to happens to also be coming on your face. Come on, have some self respect, some <laughs> dignity. Okay, but, well, you know, what I was going to say is that, you know, they're, oh, you know, Barbie and blah, blah, hashtag, you know, pink. And they play that song. What is it? I'm, I'm a Barbie girl. girl. Well, now it's a rap he, one about Yeah, the, they have Nicki Minaj's on it, yeah. I believe. And I don't know who else is on it. And they but. say a lot of vulgar things, you Yeah, know? they're, like, showing their titties and everything. Stop sexualizing me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not an object of your sexual fantasies. <laughs> look, if you stop playing with your jugs for a moment, like, I can look at you as, like, a normal human. Uh, but if you're going to start bouncing those in front of me, my pants are going to get a little bit tighter. And really, all the and trans, I'm not at a buffet. I want to say, really, right now, all the trans queens are technically the ones that look like Barbie the most. That's, That's very mean. true. You know what I mean? They have <laughs> the best makeup. Oh, yeah. They have the best clothes. Their nipples, they don't got real nipples. They like the Barbies. They don't got no nipples. Yeah, they have the best financial situation. Oh, yeah. You know? They and, don't have kids. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> which is probably the biggest bonus, okay? <laughs> oh, man. We're, I'm going to have to switch. You know what I mean? Us? Every, the whole dating pool is, you know. With, the, with kids you know what i mean you're only 18 come on how do you got four kids you know and then uh but one thing i was gonna say now that i got sidetracked a little bit you know i got triggered by the thotorotis but you know w one guy that nobody's talked about you know because people are talking about oh empowerment the black little mermaid you know and Kanto. you know they were saying that stuff uh let it what was they saying oh, was, let it glow or all of a sudden thing let it thing. snow let, let it, it snow, snow. Let or it whatever snow. that song is yeah they're talking about that stuff you know the prince oh aladdin you know now he's uh he's a businessman he's not a thief anymore you know he's he, not a street rat yeah, he owns petroleum you know they say stuff like that oil money he's <laughs> Gobble gobby, whatever the fuck he's from, you know what I mean? But the thing that you guys haven't complained and you guys are supporting, they have Schweinsteiger fucking playing Ken. Have you noticed us? Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, he's, like, he's, hey, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I saw that Barbie thing. Oh, um, man, I thought it was a, a Holocaust uh, reenactment of the perfect family of like when Hitler would play the ads of like the, the best family that you could have back then, you know? There is my syrup for my waffles. <laughs> You know, it's like, dude. That is my precious Bobby, you know? And yeah, you then he has a specific in. tattoo, and they're like, what tattoo is it? It's a pinwheel. <laughs> it's not a pinwheel, okay? <laughs> it looks like a plus sign that's bent out of shape yeah. if you catch my drift. It's plus me and you together forever. Equality. This is math. <laughs> if you are my prisoner, you shall have numbers on your arm. <laughs> you know, like, oh, shit. And Barbie, how do you get a Barbie? What does she have? number a serial number on her body yep and on her box have you noticed all you saw all the basic thought audience are taking pictures inside of the box of the barbie box at the movies house and, well box? in the box when you open up a box of barbie what do you smell chemicals okay so it's like a little gas chamber a little gas chamber so, and it has the uh barcode on that giant box too right they're selling them they're nothing but like uh they're nothing they're slaves little barbie slaves yep so nazis promoting nazis making a return through barbie no barbie being anti-semitic 
Barbie being anti-Semitic? Myth busted. busted. If you guys support Barbie, you want I have the to go Holocaust. the other way, host. Myth busted. Okay? You guys want World War II, the Holocaust to happen again. Oh, Curse yeah. you motherfuckers. I haven't watched that movie and I refuse to watch and support oh, yeah. that terrible propaganda. All I saw was like a bunch of racists with duck lips all of a sudden. Can you imagine now all those, they're getting recruited and like Hitler. Hail Hitler. Yeah. Hit, Hitler's in hell. He's like looking through. Because you know all these pictures are going to the Nazis. All these dumb idiots, you know, taking... With, you got all your yeah. kids and stuff like that? <laughs> Hitler's in hell watching and saying, thank God I was gay. You know, yeah. like, he, he didn't want to fuck you. But you can imagine now he's getting, like, the Aryans. Because you know the, you, you guys know the Hispanics, they try to go there to the, the Latino authorities. They got the bleach hair and they're like, Dar- you ladies look like a turd with dry grass on, okay? Uh, Carmen, okay? You seen some of those, huh? Yeah. You know? And they're going there and they're trying to do the, uh... The duck lips, those spam. They get marked right away, right, Hoss? Yeah. They go, but then you see the other Thotorides, and they go, you know, they're going to the, maybe the chamber of uh, Nazis or whatever they're called, you know, to, they're they're picking them from there, right? And But all of them are doing, like, their duck lips, you know? Or they're doing the poses, so they're like, they got their, uh, they got the eyebrows done, you know what I mean, Hoss? They got them all like this. And by eyebrows done, it looks like a third grader did it a uh, fucking highlight <laughs> over an O, Okay. Hey, could you imagine it's like your pool? Pencil. You're trying to make a, a Nazi comeback, and your pool. You look at your pool of what you got. You're like, ah, oh, damn! Like, like who are you gonna pick? You know, you got handcuffs for earrings. Okay, <laughs> fucking downsize on the goddamn earrings. That's way too big. There's not not necessary. <laughs> You know, like, who are you going to pick? Dude, that would be so sad. You're like, oh, we can't make a comeback. Making Ethiopians want a hula hoop. <laughs> fucking insensitive bitches. Get the fuck out of here. He's like, dude, you go that. And then you see, you know, my black kings. You guys see the the pictures for Wakanda forever. What's the army looking like, Hoss? You know? Schweinsteigers. Come on, man. It's looking good, huh? Yeah. You know, but Barbie, now you guys are going to make a comeback. You guys failed to stand up for yourselves. You guys failed for Nazi. What did you call it? Nazi propaganda. Nazi propaganda, okay? You freaking idiot. So maybe take down your pictures. And propaganda is not a country in Africa for the last goddamn time. Yeah, because one thing that I received, you know, look at this. They had a Barbie. What is this, Hoss? It's a lighter. Right? Why would they do that? They want to set some things on fire. Okay? Say less, but you're not speaking about different uh, ethnics and stuff like that. Maybe, you know, we have a couple of games, so maybe we're going to celebrate a couple holidays. You know what I mean, Hoss? We'll see. For some of these people, you know, they, they want to celebrate... Some of these people deserve to celebrate, you know. Some of, these some people, of them do, yeah. They have real barbecues. They go watch real movies. They have real friends. They make real decisions on their relationships. Yeah. So, so yeah, you know. And shout out to the other side of the beehive. If you haven't watched them or heard them, go check them out. Yeah. So, so we have a couple of uh, let's see, a couple holidays. We got a couple of different ones. So maybe host can help us uh, with some of these. But they have one of these ones. That I think a lot. <laughs> this is funny because I think a lot of the people that we just talked about. Are not going to be able to uh, celebrate this one. The first holiday for August 1st is going to be International Child Free Day. (laughs) Well, we know a group of people who's going to love that, you know. Uh, You can interpret this many ways, okay. Uh, The disgusting scum of the earth. That does not mean they get to uh, behold a free child, right. Um, So, fuck those Geppettos, you know, if you catch my drift. Oh, then you Geppetto have pedophiling yeah. for something, you know? Then you have uh, <laughs> a couple Orientals running some business. Oh, free yeah. child labor. Oh, okay? could you imagine that? Dude, August, that's probably like their labor day in uh, uh-huh. ch- child free day in Asia, in China. That's labor day. That's labor day. <laughs> and they don't have the day off, ironically enough, okay? <laughs> they work hard to get you your $1,300 iPhone. Oh, yeah, you know? Okay? If they didn't do that, if an American, imagine an American, oh, where are my rights? I deserve my Frappuccino before I start my break. Your iPhone's going to be $30,000. Oh, yeah. You can't afford an $8,000 car. You think you're going to be able to afford a $30,000 iPhone? Oh, Absolutely no, not. Oh, no. You know? Yeah. But yeah, that's what they're going to be doing, you know? And then free child, which it should be free to adopt kids. There's a lot of kids out there who don't have families. They should probably do that. Maybe, host, I think we might have to patent that. We're going to do like... Because you know the Humane Society, they do that, right? They, yeah. Humane they Society like a, have great marketing schemes. What is it called? It's like a pet. What is it called? Like a... Uh, adopt a pet. But they do like the event. They take them all to like a... Like PetSmart. You know what I mean? Yeah, they have like a petting zoo for the, the yeah, humane pets. Yeah, and they pets. take them to like different... They take them to different places. And we'll do that for the kids. Okay, we got to get in front of the problem. We've said this before many years when we started the... Many years ago when we started this show. Point to your local orphanage. I dare you. Oh, yeah. 
You don't know. You don't even know fucking directions. You guys are pointing to your room. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> I didn't have my father or my mother. It shows. We know. And neither do your kids currently, right? Yeah. What are they doing? They're chewing on an electrical cord while you're watching us? Be a parent for once in your goddamn He's life. He's static. Yeah. <laughs> he has an electrifying personality. He's getting electrocuted. Yeah, and then you're putting him on pills because he's switching the rest of he the He has time. heart palpitations. No shit. Yeah. He's stuck a fork in an outlet. He's got an arrhythmia. <laughs> He's good at math. He's arithmetic. He's really anxious. That's just the fucking surges of the electricity yeah, surging that's a through circuit. His body. You know what I mean? <laughs> Your son's out there looking like an eel. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna do that. Where will we take the kids, the orphans? Where do you think? What? So we're gonna go to maybe we're gonna do top three places. You think we're gonna do a top three us? We're gonna do top three places. Okay, top three places. To, uh, we're gonna do our orphan event. What is it gonna be called? Like uh, like a, a dot. So it's something about orphans a, anonymous. Orphans, no, because then we want we want people to be there. Because orphans anonymous, more orphans are going to show up. You know, that's what we want. We want them to be adopted. But, no, but we're going to bring the orphans. Okay, like our orphans, we get you know the orphans. We're going to take them there. Okay, because um, so like, orphans anonymous, like dude, Larry the Winter Soldier might show up. You know, because he never met his dad. You know, <laughs> so he's going to be. We're going to start having all these weird people. You know, a childorama. Child, because they uh, that's a pretty good one, like Childorama, like Childorama uh, Jimbery. Like, take a child. No, that's that's gonna attract the wrong hmm. people. Yeah, you don't know? do that. Childorama, or uh, let's see, Ch- I think Childorama that works, you know what I mean? Because that sounds already like a carnival. Yep, sounds like a fair. There's gonna be you know, concessions, overpriced concessions. So, Childorama, patent, patent pending. pending. Okay, so we go Childorama top three, top, top three place. So, we're gonna describe the three best locations for exposure. And for high rates of being able to get these kids adopted. Yeah, and Let's, what and what the adults are going to be able to do, too, when they we take the kids. They're going to be able to take the kids back home, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a full heart is what they're going to leave with, but, and a full home. Yeah. So, like, so we get, okay. So, we'll so, start with place number three. Okay, place number three. I mean, I'm thinking probably somewhere where, I mean, would a mall be good? I think so. Yeah? Cause yeah. That's, but it would be like a decent mall, maybe like Thanksgiving Point, because families go there. Yep. With kids, it, and right? there's going to be a lot of education there. There's yep. gonna, they have like a dinosaur museum. Yeah, they have places of discovery. So values education, family time. Yep, they made the drive how to go there, and it's expensive to go to that to go inside. So there are people who can afford another kid. Yep, because if we if we do the if we do one of the malls over there, West Valley, somewhere over there, else what happens? If we go over to the West Valley. They're just going to yeah. see some kids, and they're going to try and sell them tamales. At Valley Fair Mall, could you imagine us? Oh, yeah. man. People wouldn't even... It would just seem like a regular day, honestly. Yeah, you it know? really would. <laughs> you know, so we go to Thanksgiving point, you know? So they got the families there yep. being there. And then... So how do we set up the kids? Because, you know, on the Humane Society, they put, like... You know, he's nice around other kids. You know what I mean? He reacts better if he has a yard, you know? Well, look. We're, we're at a technologically advanced society so we have wristbands that have nfc chips so they <laughs> press their phone against the nfc chip it has a little bio of the kid so it tells them you know the height the weight of the child any pre like hobbies pre-existing conditions right yeah. which we'll lie about them these kids are perfectly healthy yeah. uh <laughs> until they go to the doctors <laughs> No, um, we have the we have a hey, we have Doctor Hawes and Doctor Botch. They're the medical team. There, a stamp of approval, oh, okay, approval, on yeah. their arm, on their forearm. BNR certified, okay. Fuck KSC, whatever it's called. That other one, AKC. We do the BNR certified. Yeah. Things us. Yeah, fuck the FDC, yeah. fuck the FFA, <laughs> the CDC. BNR certified. There you go. You know, <laughs> and then you get one of those racist <laughs> family. Beaner. Beaner. I'm not getting a Dude, Mexican child, am I? What you is Tanel Alvarez? I thought this was an American. You know, <laughs> but uh, so it'll have yeah the hobbies, their interests, yeah. uh, the highest potentials that they have, right? So if they're artistic, what they're good at math, yeah, if they're artistically their inclined, music. Math, oh. uh, mathematics, athletics, things of that nature. Should we do? We have to do like a two K rating, right? Yeah. So they're like ranked. You know, maybe this one's seventy eight, but then has potential. Has massive potential, yeah. right? <laughs> you know. And then you have like a little John Morant, right? A proclivity of violence. You yeah, know? he's like overall is like ninety eight, but then it's like injury prone. Yeah, you know? might shoot you in your sleep. Yes. You know? <laughs> violence attack. You know, probability. You know, it's might like, beat up your seventeen year old child. Yeah, yeah, unpredictability. They don't say that. On there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he might. Hey, 
It might be one of those those guys from the blind side. He might, you know, take. Then we you. we get another one. His score is like a ninety three, like a little Kyrie Irving, right? <laughs> Refuses to get vaccinated, right? Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> triggers or whatever vaccines you yeah. know what i mean then you earth get, videos yeah <laughs> and then you get another one is a rank like 94 percent uh, 94 out of 100 overall yeah. you know like a little antonio brown yeah my <laughs> run away from home <laughs> fakes vaccines <Yeah. laughs> likes to party and stuff like yeah. that you know might uh, beat off in public you know? looks older yeah. yeah looks older likes older women you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have like maybe who would be like an average one like an average kid that we could uh we could put on there, you know what I mean? That's like, uh, like maybe like Elon Musk, you know, like Elon yeah. Musk orphan card. Come on, it says like, it says like maybe he's like a like a seventy overall, you know. Yeah. But then like his uh, IQ score, you know, it's like that one's like a ninety eight, you know. Talks in a weird accent. We'll look into your eyes when they talk to you. Yeah. So what uh, would that be called? Socializing, you know? It's yeah. like. It's like a 32, you know? And then you see the potential is like 64 is the potential. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wants to call everything by one letter you know <laughs> especially his own kids yeah so but then he has like a probability to be wealthy you know and yeah. it has a okay so we do the thanksgiving point yeah and then we have this setup of course of statistics and little bios of, of these children with an nsc <laughs> chip on their little wristbands so we're ahead of the medical community now okay <laughs> uh place number two what would be a good spot okay so we went there i think maybe we're gonna have to do like uh I was gonna say Disneyland, but people don't go to Disneyland anymore. You know, we're gonna have to go to maybe like uh, where else is there a lot of kids that they go like uh, maybe with families, or maybe do we want to change it other than families? Maybe we go to like a campsite, right? A campsite would be nice. Yeah, because yeah. people go, but it would have to be like maybe like what kind of camping do you think would be like that people it, would go? It to? would be traditional campgrounds, right? None of the RV stuff, okay? Yeah. Uh, this has to. This shows. Uh, they're handy. Yeah, it shows primal experience. instincts. Ability to work hard and ability to be resourceful. And they're teaching their offspring. Yep. Uh, unafraid to get their hands dirty, right? So they, they learn a lot of ways to live. Live off the land types. Uh, they, they're they the ones that probably should get the most kids. Okay. So we're going to do that one, you think? Mm-hmm. And maybe I have a proposal for the last one. Okay. But maybe you can change it. Maybe, you know, maybe you use your powers. I was thinking maybe at the library. That's not going to work. <laughs> I'm not or maybe bad... not, because then it's maybe weird ladies that go there. Not a bad idea. But I actually, I feel this strategy is going to work really well. Uh, even if we don't have a partnership, we're going to send, we're going to be with these kids anyways, okay? We're going to follow the Humane Society. Because imagine a family who sees a cute dog or cat oh. being held by a cute child. And the child says, you can't take it away from me. You need to take me with you. Oh, The, the rate of adoption one. would go so high. We do. Now we do a collaboration with the Humane Society. Yep. Human, the and then ours is the Human Society. Needed, yep. Humanity Society. Yep. And that's like the ultimate. That's how we end the tour. You know what I mean? Yep. That's where we take like the last batch of kids. You know, the ones that the ones that... no one wanted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Redheads. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah the gym. lepers. Oh come on. Will wonder. My husband. He would be wheelchair like... bound kids. You know? Oh yeah. You know people. And the Saint Jude. Dyslexics. You think so? Us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't read English them. second language kids. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's it for that one, you know. But let's see, maybe we do, maybe do we do two more, you know. That was a, that was a good holiday. You don't think so? Else? Yeah, we can promote it. You can change their name, and they uh, don't care. They just want a family. <laughs> so okay, let's see. They just want to be adopted. <laughs> they have a weird name like Victor or something, you know. <laughs> when Banyama. <laughs> What the fuck is it? Some sort of koala? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animal? That's the one with Yama. I thought that was an animal. You know what I mean? Look, if you're afraid uh, to name your kids weird names like other people, like celebrities, you can do that on these uh, adopted kids. They're not your actual kids. You don't care about them as much, so you can call them weird names. I'm going to call you Poison Ivy. You know? <laughs> yeah, shout out to uh, JC, you know? Yeah. I'm going to call you Polyester. <laughs> That's a that's a Polynesian Esther, you know. 
I had one like that, you know, a polyester man. Did you? Did she have oh, big tits? Oh, it she, sounds like she had big tits. She had big tits because she got pregnant when she was only 17, okay? okay. Or 16. So. <laughs> <laughs> so they got big, you know? But, you know, coinciding, I mean, maybe we use our power sauce, you know, because coinciding with, you know, we interpreted that. We rearranged a couple letters. We, you know, took out a couple kids here and there. And the next holiday, believe it or not, the next holiday we have that we're going to celebrate is Respect for Parents Day, huh? How about that? You know? Come on, hoes. But, and it says parents, not single parents for a reason, okay? You freaking yeah. idiots Multiple there? parents. Yeah, you think... Two. Yeah, you think kids are going to respect a single parent, hoes? Single mom, respect me, you know? <laughs> well, I, I told you, child. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. You're not my dad. Yeah. Come on, that's not going to happen, you think so, hoes? Of course not. That's what it says parents. It has a picture... Of two parents, actually. You know, I think it's actually four parents and one kid. You know, that's how many parents his family had their Asian, actually. That's how many they needed, okay? <laughs> that's why they're so good at math. Yeah, you know, so they're going to respect... Yeah, Asians, they respect their parents probably the most. You don't think so, Oz? I think so, yeah. Oh, man, you view this... Song? Asians and uh, Indians from India. Yeah. Because I think that's why, like, even Kim Jong-un is like, oh, you disrespect your family. Now your whole family goes to work at the... The rice field or whatever they eat over in North Korea. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All it takes is one to fuck it up, and then the rest of your family dies slowly yeah. over there. Oh, could you imagine, dude? Your parents, like, <laughs> you just fu- you said, like, what could you even do in North Korea to get in trouble? You know what I mean? You ran through the sprinklers. Yeah. <laughs> and Kim Jong Un's like, bring out the whole family now. Bring out the whole family now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and you know? They're all, like, the whole family, like, fucking 800 of them. They're at fucking Kim Jong-un's. They're at Kim Jong-un's fucking Oval Office. Or whatever the fuck he has, you know? He's got, like, the Oval Office. And he's like... <laughs> God, I need you here. Bring the whole family to me now! <laughs> They want to run to the sprinkler. I sprinkle them to war. We all like no fun. Bring out the whole family now. <laughs> and then, like, all the family. One bowl of rice to eat for the whole month. <laughs> and all the family, they're lined up, right? So they're lined up like he's got him at the gymnasium, you know? And he's got pictures of Dennis Rodman. And and stuff like on that. the Asian. Okay. <laughs> The gymnation. <laughs> Jim's nation. He's neither Asian nor Asian. <laughs> so all of his whole family, they're lined up, you know? And then Kim Jong-un, you know? You don't he, come here anymore. <laughs> no, well, he's all family, sir. And then he, Kim Jong-un, he has you in the like the punishment room, you know? <laughs> he's gonna... <laughs> so, like, you're all fucking wet. You're sure? <laughs> you're all fucking wet. <laughs> You're all soaking. <laughs> Your shoes, the only pair of shoes you had, you know, they're fucked up. No, he takes the whole family and he puts them in a room, okay? And it's a tourist attraction. So mostly like Americans or like Western world people, like Europeans. People that can afford and want to go oddly to a communist Asian country. And so the family's waiting there. They see a lot of odd artifacts and little statues that were long forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of weird tools like bats and golf balls or, and golf clubs and things like that. Oh, yeah. And then the family walks up. It's an anger room. So that's how they're punished. You know those anger rooms yeah. where they just break everything well, in there? Everything they can that. hit Asians. That's what King Jamun does. Oh, come on. You know, they just, you want to hit some? You can hit a human. <laughs> that's like the new Epstein Island born in Korea, you know? Yeah. No, <laughs> Oh, they got Britney Grinder in there, you know? Could you imagine? They make him dress up like Britney Grinder. They make him dress like all the Americans that they hate, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be in costume. A couple called Rittenhouse. Yeah, they got President Zelensky in there, you know? <laughs> Joe Biden. Joe Biden just taking a fucking nap, you know? Yeah. Mel Gibson. Oh, yeah. All uh, the people that they hate, you know, that Kim yeah. Jong-un hates. You know what I was saying? So they have the family in the gymnasium, you know? And then the... His... Kim Jong-un, he walks in there, he's like, I can't hear, we uh, talk to all your family now. Yeah, suffer. You know? <laughs> he's gonna suffer. And, 
<laughs> and this is the longest fucking haul to the gym, okay? What? What does he say? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna suffer. No, what do you say? Come here now. Come here now. <laughs> You're gonna suffer. You and your family. Oh, your family gonna see you all wet with the sprinkler. He's like, okay. So it's like this long ass haul, right, Hose? And you're just like soaked from the fucking sprinkler. And this haul. This haul. It's like two football fields long. Because he's like in a fucking nuclear bunker, Kim Jong un, right? So he's like. You're walking next to Kim Jong un. It's fucking silent. And you got your wet shoes. The whole time. <laughs> you're next to fucking Kim. Just walking the whole book. And you can't even laugh. Or you can't even make any sort of fucking movement. And all you hear is. And then you open. <laughs> and then you. You know, he finally gets to the to the gym, you know? He finally gets over to the gym. And then. <laughs> I'm gonna need you for this one, Hoss, you know? Okay. I'll so try. he gets. He, 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 <laughs> Just say he when Kim Jong un talks <laughs> till the end so I can help. He finally oh, gets man. to the gym. And Kim Jong Is he gonna open the door? <laughs> no, he's gonna have someone else no, open it for him. He's gonna open you open the door because your family's in there waiting for you. <sighs> ah, you piece of shit! <laughs> you open the door you look at your family! Look at your family now! See what you've done! You disappointed your family! <laughs> He's so like a South Park character. <laughs> okay. And then you open the door, host, and you see, like, you know, your three or four generations of your whole family because you have one in the sprinkler. And all their eyes will do their eyes look like when you open the door and they're looking at you that now they're going to suffer the rest of their life. Host. What do their eyes look like? <laughs> you bring this honor to family. <laughs> your grandmother, your grandfather, your aunt, your uncles. We have a walking farms now because of you, Jody. <laughs> you are proud of rice because before. <laughs> yeah. And then Kim Jong-un just shuts the fucking door, okay? So go to work now! <laughs> and then that's what happens, you know what I mean? You, the not- door won't open it, open <laughs> hammer! <laughs> Dennis! Time to play basketball. <laughs> basketball. <laughs> basketball. <laughs> you know, and that's what happens when you don't respect your parents. You freaking uh, okay? So that's what we're trying to say. It's respect your parents. You don't think so? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you don't want to bring dishonor to your family? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. You see what happens? Come on, man. You know? But uh, that's it for respect your parent day. And... Uh, I think now we're going to play a game, host, because I think this might take us. We still have a nightmare after this. You know? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> respect the parents. We had to pay that much respect to parents. Okay, we had to waste basically 30 minutes if it took of 30 minutes. Of your time, minutes. yeah. Okay, so we're going to play this game. For some of these people, <sighs> they're saying, oh, you guys are culturally appropriating. You guys are mocking people. This is actually, I think we've been using our powers the whole fucking day, host. I think we have. Because we've been using accents. We were, we, host, he started, he was a senior citizen, right? Yeah. Flawlessly, uh, might I add. Right? We were Asians. We were Thotarotis. We were single moms. You could see a cardigan on my shoulders and I didn't have a sweater around me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, dude, he made a cat appear. And yeah. a dog. A service animal. As soon as he put the thing on. You know, come on. Summoning Jutsu. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> Let's do it again. Run it back. <laughs> okay. So, people are going to be like, how are you guys culturally appropriate and blah, blah, blah. We're going to... We're experts at linguistics. We're experts at... The human tongues, human uh, dialect, and just sort of uh, stuff like that. Right, Hose? What is it called? Yeah, linguistics, semantics. Okay. So you guys are just Semitic, okay? Anti-Semitic, okay? But us, we're pro-Semitic. So we're going to play this game with Hose. He knows a lot of things. He's powerful. He is going to... Uh, we're going to play accents from around the world. And Hose is going to see if he can get them, okay? I didn't know this game going in. So this is uh, going in Asian. Going, going in, in blind. blind. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Blind Fury. Okay. So we're going to play. Let me just load up really quick. Oh, let me put that down. <laughs> we'll give him the first one. It's going to be an easy one for Hollis. Okay. Am I going to write this on a whiteboard and show them? On or a whiteboard, a Caucasian board, however you want to identify okay. host. 
So this course. is the first one. And I don't think I'm uh, comfortable at all, like never, <laughs> like I'm already mm -hmm. like this. So of a lot of messages and I'm very, very proud of all the things that people wrote me. So I'm trying... Yellow you're mustard, Frenches. You're That's revealing French. your answer? Love yeah. And okay, well, we'll make see. it, like, make me strong with it. Make me strong with it. And Hoss, you got number one correct. Okay, so we got one on the board for Hoss. I was trying to eat the cupcake. Now we got number two. Are you ready, Hoss? Yeah, I'm ready. Did, did we erase your answer? Yeah. Okay, so here's the second one. That's about everything he does. He's an actor, also a writer, and producer. So he knows everything. Cool. They come on different backgrounds. They're like brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Do I, I have to say the uh, the you country? To, you right? want me to play it again? I have to say the country, right? You have to say yeah, the or country. Or can I say the re? Well, the country specifically. Okay. Um. Yeah. Play it one more time. Okay. Let's go back. I know he's coming. He's very passionate about everything he does. Pay close attention to the. He's arts. an actor, also a writer, and producer. So he knows everything. Cool. They come on different backgrounds. They're like butters. Butters. Okay. So one of them is Latino for sure. They speak Spanish. I'm not going to write it. I don't want to write these. Uh, I'm going to go with Colombian on one. There's another nationality. <laughs> no, this is the same nationality. Oh, they're both the both same? You want me to play one last time, Hoss? Yeah. I'll play the end because the end, it gives you a hint if you pay a little bit of attention of the last couple of words. <clears throat> I know he's coming. He's very passionate about everything he does. Wait for the end. He's an actor, also a writer, about right here. and producer, so he knows everything. Cool. They come on different backgrounds. They're like brothers. He knows everything? They're like brothers. I said at the... They come from different backgrounds. It's South American. So you're just going to go South American? I mean, I have to specify a country, though. You can, but I mean, I think if you want to go by region, I can, you know. It just seems so generic. I'll stick for South American now, but I'll try to pinpoint later. South American. Uh, the answer, believe it or not, is China. Chinese. Fuck, yeah. At fucking. the end, that's what I was saying. At the end, you could catch it a little yeah. bit better than the rest. I thought one sounded Latino, and then I, I that's why I asked if there was two nationalities. Yeah. Damn, okay. at the beginning, but then like the end sentence, is like they struggle with those two words and that. Like, the R's, yeah. Um, you're right, you're right. <clears throat> Let's see the third one. What do we got for us? We pledge our commitment to work with all the members of Senora to ensure that peace and security prevail in our region. In a security. And this is what the founding fathers of this organization and our respective countries, including. It's African, of course. <clears throat> Zimbabwe or Nigeria. I think I'll give you this one, because you said African. Yeah. And it's Swahili. Swahili. From Tanzania. Okay. So I think that's, you know. That counts. There's so many. I didn't even know this was a country. I thought this was a sandal that people wear. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a Polynesian sandal. You don't think so? <laughs> Not much sandal, but yeah. That's a Polynesian that's doing a Healy. Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> Swahili Healy. <laughs> okay, let's see the next one. What do we got for us? prepared for my assignments and my assessments Vietnamese. and also to communicate communicate with my colleagues and my teams but i think the most important thing was uh deal with different people because uh, vietnamese different people vietnamese you want me to rewind it a little bit yeah let's start again <clears throat> prepared for my assignments and my assessments and also to communicate communicate with my colleagues and my teams but i think the most important thing was uh deal with different people because uh, another african country people no i wanted I, I went with vietnamese first micronesia you ready for the answer yeah sure 
Brazil, Portuguese. Oh, Portuguese. See, for me, I almost <clears> thought <throat> the West Valley over there. That's the what West I heard. Over there, yeah. Like the lady sounded like that, so I thought, oh, maybe I think he's gonna get. Oh, no. He's gonna get this one. Okay, so we'll go. I'm on. doing terrible, by the way. You've got two, right? You pull it and you fold it. You pull it and you fold it. You can't even do that. Okay? Then you get the other side, pull it, and you fold it. Now the dough is ready. Get a flower. One more time. These people have, I feel like, lighter accents, but... <laughs> the other one. You pull it and you fold it. You pull it and you fold it. You can't undo that. Okay? Then you get the other side, pull it, and you fold it. Now the dough is ready. Get a flower. Fucking A. That one's hard. Yeah. I ha I also, guys, I haven't seen this either. Uh, maybe, to me, it sounds like some a country that's manly, you know? They're telling somebody to do a chore. You pull it and you fold it. I don't know if it was like Italian, maybe. I was thinking Greek, but... Oh, Greek? Yeah. yeah. I'll just go with Greek. Greek? Okay, let's see. Italian! Nice. <laughs> nice. Well done. <laughs> okay, so you ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, life has lots of ups and downs, but family is the one part that remains India. constant. No I think so. Huh? It's India. Achieving this unity... They're talking Talk about family, about intelligence, determination, and years of hard work. It sounds like Deepak Chopra. I don't know who that is, you know, but that's some kind of music, some some type of sub opera genre. You that's think definitely so? Indian. Yeah, I think so too. They're talking about family, hard work, being doctors. Basically, he said the whole time. <laughs> you know, that was him telling you you got to be a fucking doctor without yeah. telling you you got to be a fucking doctor. Stop this foolish dream of being a chef. You <laughs> must be a doctor. <laughs> And Arabic! Oh, man! Way off! Bro. Throw to me some food that you can attach to the, the picky skinny and so I can eat it. And so dunk, dunk it now in the mustard and then... That's and German. To me I was about to say, it. he said mustard. Uh, Dude, if it's... This is Loki racist. Sure dunk, which he said is thank you. Yeah. That's German. Dude, if he said mustard and this is German... This test might be, you know, Schweinsteiger might have made it. Might have rigged this test. German. It's German! <laughs> that one I knew. He said dunk. And then he said mustard. Okay, you ready for the next one? <clears throat> yeah. I think you got at least, like, what, three now, right? Yeah. Three or four. There is nothing. Like, I don't sleep well. I don't eat well. I eat a lot of chocolates. Um... You know what? The most important thing that I say to myself before the show is that remember, it's not about you. You're the almost like in. I want to go with India again. With India? Yeah. Really? Ah, oh, man, I would say this was maybe like a Romanian or something like that. Play it again. Let's see. I say to myself before the show is that remember, it's not about you. You're the almost. Like in mm, maybe like Netherlands, Belgium, that area from a cold country. Yeah, the Nord, those Nordic, Nordic, yeah, countries. Nordic country. Do we want to yeah, say that? Well, yeah. Okay, come on. Hebrew, Israel. God damn come it! Come on, man. Hey, Larry, let us know if you got this one. Okay, <laughs> he probably knew right away. You know he doesn't I mean? even know how to spell the Quran, you, you know, know? <laughs> or the Torah. I mean, let's see. A regional, national, and international sports venue. Eastern Special European. emphasis is placed on environment, security, infrastructure, up-to-date means of mass communication. It's like Russian or Kazakhstan, that, that region. Yeah, I yeah. think I would go India on this one for okay. some reason. 70% of participants. Oh, participants. Russian, you got it, Hoss. Oh, come on, Hoss. He's making a comeback, okay? Thank you so much. I'm a performer. I'm, I'm, I'm doing 10 years what I do. I love dance and singing. That's what I really love to do. But I have a lot of balance, too. So I'm not one hour like this. But, uh, you know, I'm a performer. I'm an artist. This is the name. Sounds weird. I feel like it might be like Switzerland or something because they're doing arts, right? And she's like very liberal. Portugal. 
You can say Portugal. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go maybe Sweden, some one of those countries where they can be, like, you know, in the performing arts. Oh, Greek. This one was Greece, Fuck, dude. Was, yeah. Damn, we should have replayed same it. same area, yeah. 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 Let's do two more? Yeah, sure. Okay. I go one come back to the school I learn English. Because every day I go work, very busy, go to go to school. I learn it by son. Yeah. I learn English. <laughs> Can you speak okay. uh, A, B, C, D, F, G. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, damn, bro. This is what Johnny the Leaper sounded like. I really did. <laughs> you want me to replay it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's a hard one, man. It's a hard one. Let me try here. I will go and come back to uh, the school I learn English. Because every day I go work, very busy, go to hand. Go to school. I learned it by son. Yeah. I learn English. <laughs> I can speak okay. English. Uh, A, B, C, D, F, G. <laughs> Vietnamese. Vietnamese? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say maybe like, oh man, I, I don't know. Because uh, Kim... stop... they do that like stop quick. <laughs> you want to play it one like... more time or are you locking in your answer? Nah, I'm just locking in with Vietnamese. Okay, yeah. Where to go. Number 11 is... Vietnamese! <laughs> Let's go! Hey, Hosey had a warm up. I want to suck this. Yeah, some of you guys with your <laughs> fucked up countries, you think we're gonna get these two? You guys can't even find yourself on a fucking map, okay? The ones that he missed? All the other ones? You don't I even... want you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> that other guy in the background? <laughs> okay, this is the last one, and then we'll go, because we have a question, and I think we'll be good on time. So let's see, this is the last one, you think so? Hosey? Let's do, we'll do the last one. 10 yeah. pointer? Are you sure? <laughs> face, you know. Just for the pretty face, I'm doing a lot of makeup every, every day, and I have a very good uh, fashion makeup artist. <laughs> very good. Me not, I am pretty from nature. Poor girl. Yeah, this is... This was the most racist one so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the accent is strong enough to where... I feel uh, like I can actually like the last one was obvious to me in the pattern of speech. Yeah. Where some of the other ones they actually spoke English with very minimal accents, so it was difficult to because they maybe struggled with a word here or there. And not that they struggle, they speak more languages than I do probably. But do you want me to run it back really quick for the people? No, I, this one I feel like I can admit it's like Amsterdam, so it's like the that area, Netherlands, Dutch, like because of the or like Swedish, well, maybe Sweden. I'm gonna go with Sweden. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, he doesn't even want a replay. Ten pointers for the powerful one, and it's Czech, the Czech Republic. Oh, no. That kind of counts, no? No, I, I think that's a little off. Czech? Yeah. It says Czechia. That's the Czech Republic, right? Pretty sure, yeah. Czech, it just says that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it. Damn you didn't get a paint. But the, the speed in which I thought it was like You want to do a 20 pointer, Hoss? Ah, I was saying I did it the other day. Yeah. Sure. We'll last one, 20 pointer. Okay. So this just one. means I have to culturally appropriate more <laughs> accents for you guys, okay? I'm going to get good at this stuff. <laughs> okay, let's go for the last one. Uh, I one. started uh, studying English just last month. Uh, but I do like to speak with you today. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, sorry for asking, but could you please? What the fuck happened at the end? This is definitely an Asian country. You want me to go back again? Huh? Do one more time. Okay, let's see. That was a, hey, that was a, I don't know what happened. Sounded like somebody threw a spell right there. I was real out of it. Uh, I started <laughs> studying English just last month. Uh, but I'd uh, like to speak with you today. I'm sorry uh, for asking. But could you please... But could you? I know that the L does not exist. The L sound doesn't exist in the Japanese language, which is why they have a difficulty pronouncing L's and they pronounce them as R's. But it doesn't sound specific. I mean, I've actually spoken to a lot of Japanese people, and their accents don't sound that same cadence. I I will hate myself if it's Japanese. I want to go Mongolian. But I'm just going to go with my heart and go Japanese. He's going to go Japanese. Mongolians are on the grill. Who will it be? 20 points. Japanese! Boom! And he, used, look, he has a shirt for the Japanese too. He uses fucking powers. He uses fucking powers. Come on, oh. He's a fucking boss. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Oh, Lord. Hey, 
you know? Fuck, come on, man, dude. Please don't fuck her with me. Yeah, <laughs> whatever that means, okay? <laughs> come on, man. Oh, that was freaking cool, huh? And hey, dude, he's dressed like. Could you imagine, dude? The twenty pointer happens to be Japanese. You're wearing a Japanese shirt. We were talking about South Korea. Come on, man. You know, I'm gonna manifest my man. <laughs> you know, come on. Oh, man. Hey. Hey, only winners here. You know what I mean, Hoss? Only winners. 20 pointers. You guys are only fans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that, we got a, uh, we're about an hour 24 in, so okay. maybe, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe this question is going to be, let me see, uh. My heart was contentious. Look, I almost went with Japan, or with Mongolia, but oh, I locked yeah. in Japan. Your attire said, you know what I mean? Japan is the one that you must admire. I felt it was like, I <laughs> want to be ninja. ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and you were my ninja star, Huss. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you heard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> that almost sounds like we can make that into a joke somehow, you know? What is an, a, a Japanese man's... Full senderu. Favorite part of Hollywood. The ninja stars. Something like that. You know, something like that. Joke pending. Joke uh, pending. <laughs> Jap pending, you know. Uh, it's a nightmare. I mean, I think... Do you want a nightmare or uh Do you want to go to end with a nightmare or you want to end with a question? There's. We'll do a question. Okay, a question. Because both of them... Feeling like answering some Somehow people, this know? whole day ended up in a lot of racial awareness. So was, <laughs> I'll tell you that, you know. But let's see. Uh, so we'll go with this one. Let's see. And you are. I'm glad I'm the Wizard of Oz for this one. Okay, so let me just pull it up really quick. Today's unsolved mystery. And let me, you know what? Let me just actually. Alice gets to do this. I don't get to do this. So I'm going to. I want to be ninja and I want to go into Alice's mystery. So let me go in. Aris. Mysteries of Aris. <laughs> Okay, so are you ready, Hoss? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so today's mystery. Is it normal for people to want a certain group type of person to be killed? <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I'll read you the... Sure. Hey, guys, my family is already kind of fucked up, but today my father was talking about how he wants to kill all communists and Ukrainians, stuff like that. And my brother sometimes talks about killing homeless people and poor people and mass, like mass shooting... And bombing type stuff. I think it's horrible, but am I missing the point or something? <laughs> Thanks for the help. Sure. Um, do you want to start? Or do you want me to? I think maybe. Uh, I think maybe you should start, host, because I'm. Or do you want me to start? You want? Are you brewing on a thought? He brewing right now? Yeah, he brewing <laughs> something big, you know. Y'all brewing? A hot pot of coffee, man. Y'all brewing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me just read it again because I forgot I didn't have it pulled up for the people to see. So I'm just gonna read it again. Uh, hey guys, okay, so it's uh, is it normal for people to want a certain group type of person to be killed? Hey guys, my family's already kind of fucked up, but today my father was talking about how he wants to kill all communists and Ukrainians, stuff like that. And my brother sometimes talks about killing homeless and poor people in mass, like mass shooting and bombing type stuff. I think it's horrible, but I'm missing the point of something. Thanks for the help. So I'm gonna say. Look, if... Oh, man. What would it be? Is it kind of fucked up? I mean, I think... A, I think maybe a group of people is kind of messed up. You know what I mean? Because when you think... Of, I think we've all had those uh, thoughts. Oh, you know? LLA invited me to his house. This was a... You know, I saved my hunger office. I'm gonna, I want to freaking kill him. You know, meeting cold tortillas all have a hole. It smells like freaking pigeon at his freaking house. You know? Uh, there's no drinks, there's no salsas, you know? I really, I left there just, I'm like, man, I wish I could just kill him. You know what I mean, Louis? Yeah, but he's not a group of people, he's a guy. So he's just one guy, you know? The, the world could use one less guy, you know? Sure. But if it was a group of LLAs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, maybe. Hey, maybe. Maybe we're on to something here. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I would say, I don't know, I, I, I don't think I've ever felt like maybe a whole group, you know? Maybe homeless, I don't know, but... I don't even know if I could kill. I've, I've thought about, I asked us this question one time, like, and I've asked actually a lot of people and you guys let us know if you guys have actually had this thought. 
But have you guys ever been driving? You like it could be a homeless or it could be a random person, but you want to run somebody over to see what it feels like, like to hit somebody with your car. Yeah, yeah. Just to better understand physics, you know, like it's not that you want to murder or harm them. You just want to know what does a body feel like when yeah. it hits up against your vehicle. Like I want. Do you want? You want the airbags to deploy almost the whole feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is it a big jolt? Is it like a splatter sound with a slight shake? Yeah. Um. So the question is, is it normal for people to want to do this? Now, this is going to be an unpopular opinion. And this might not even be opinion. This might be fact. If you have the benefit of living in the U.S., as racist as you may think the U.S. And this is, I'm actually being honest. This isn't even satire. If you benefit living in specifically the U.S., uh, because we're such a diverse country, I would argue, and it's I'd imagine it's far less racist than pretty much the rest of the world. If you're able to travel outside of the world, or you know some immigrants who are very open and not PC, right, politically correct. Well, I thought you meant computers. <laughs> yeah, they'll start telling you like what races they don't like. There's a hierarchy in the Asian system. Oh, that is true. Within actually. each Asian country, right? So, uh, this is, and I've had this conversation with like my Asian friends that are from the Asian countries. The Chinese do not like the Japanese at all, and there's a long history for this too. And the Japanese do not like the Chinese. I'm not saying this is uh, correct, all of them, or even correct, but I'd say the mass. Of like or a massive part of the population, and by massive I don't mean more than fifty percent. It could even be just like twenty, thirty percent. Oh, but twenty percent of but China that's a hates massive you? amount of people, right? Yeah. So which which would arguably make it normal if twenty percent of the people are doing something that seems like a big enough population sample or big enough portion of the population that actually is doing something which would arguably make it normal. Um, so to answer his question, I mean I don't agree with these concepts. But is it normal for people to think of genocide or like hating certain groups and wanting them eliminated from a world standpoint view? Yeah. You know, now that you put it that way, probably even from a history standpoint, right? Yeah, no, history. But that's yeah, that's why like, the Japanese and Chinese, like on their hierarchy, each other's rank the lowest on each other's list, right? Yeah. So let's say they could hate Korea. Like Chinese probably hate, I think they hate the Koreans as well. But they hate the Japanese more. So the Japanese are the lowest part of their tier system in the Asian countries. Then I don't know the rankings, but as an example, maybe it's Koreans. Then it could be uh, Malaysians. Then it's the Mongolians and blah, blah, blah. Like all the way that way. Yeah. 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 So I think, I mean, yeah, that's I think a pretty good point. And then that happens too in uh, Indian countries. Oh, yeah. Eastern Europeans. I mean, that's arguably, well, not arguably. Oh. It's stati or factually the reason Russia went to war with Ukraine is over territories and what they belong to us. Because if you didn't know, Ukraine was actually part of Russia back in the USSR era. It wasn't its own country until a few decades ago. Oh, and then even, I guess, like religious, right? The Catholics, they go against the... They hate each other. The Protestants, they yeah. hate. Um, there, there, there seems to be a lot less now, but Islamic culture and Christian uh, Christianity didn't get along. I think given their values that are almost parallel really uh they've started liking each other a bit more but historically they've hated each other um, yeah maybe even in other indian countries you know the navajo countries and the Arapahos. look at latinos i mean latinos have a hierarchy too oh, like certain yeah. ones hate others more than the others so. it goes mexicans puerto ricans what's after that host i mean maybe who, can canadians it, it depends for each one do, well let's do the top uh but top. i'm saying latino countries so like let's say you're from Chile, you probably hate Argentinians more yeah. than you would hate a Mexican. And then if you're from Argentina, I feel like you hate Uruguay, huh? Probably Uruguay. Yeah, yeah. and Mexicans then. But all Latinos hate Spaniards, you know? Just Yeah, that is true, huh? <laughs> they do. I'm, I yeah. I don't hate them, Look but at them thug the like Latino, this, yeah, you know? they always make fun of them and how they speak. And that, that's the funny part is most of these Latino the cultures, fee. most of these Latinos don't even have a proper education, but they make fun of the way other people speak based on region and how they, like, it's it's annoying. That is true. Oh, he's got that accent from the, like, yeah. Yeah, like someone tried telling me, oh, you know, Puerto Ricans don't speak Spanish. I was like, well, just because you don't understand my vernacular doesn't mean I don't speak Spanish. You guys don't even know what that means. You guys saw that was stuff you put in your eyes so you could see people from far away when you're hunting, you freaking idiots, okay? Fucking morons. Those are vernaculars, okay? Yeah. Come on, you freaking, those are freaking, that's the scope. Pen day hose, you know, yeah. emphasis on the hose. Okay. But anyway, so yes, unfortunately, 
<clears throat> yes, a lot of people like it's normal to have those thoughts. If it's not normal for you, you're a great person. Yeah, maybe you're lying. You know what I mean? Because you guys even even want people to die in hell, technically, right? If yeah. you're like super religious, you're like, yeah. oh, all the bad people they're gonna get punished. I hope they go to hell. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, we all want everybody to die. Basically, is what we're trying to say. Exactly. Uh, the liberals want the conservatives to die. <laughs> to die. The conservatives the con- want the liberals to oh, die. Yeah, the independents want the dependents to die. The liberals want conservatives and the uh, liberals to die. Oh yeah. Come on, man. But I think that's it, host. You that's got anything it for else us. to say? Una vez más, ita de aquí más. Okay, all right, people. Let me see. How do we get out of here? There we go.